Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I am so happy that it's the weekend. Um, we get to be home, which is really nice because we've been kind of moving a lot lately. And actually, Mike is leaving for Abu Dhabi on Sunday. And I was supposed to be on that flight. Um, but my parents, my mom, who really helps me out with Grayson, they're gone. They're traveling. And, you know, I couldn't say to them, uh, you can't go. <laughs> so... So I have to stay home, um, but that's okay. You know, Grayson is my priority and I'm all good with that. And we will have another opportunity to go to Abu Dhabi. So actually, is it Abu Dhabi? Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Um, so anyways, it's Friday. Uh, Fridays for me is kind of like self-care Friday. I like to work out. Um, I have acupuncture today. I go every other week. Um, I go get vitamin shots. Like it's just a all encompassing self-care Friday. So I really love Fridays. Um, but I wanted to pop on because I'm going to curl my hair and I haven't done anything tutorial wise or explanation about my hair. And I have a love hate with my hair because, and I will get into this more when um, like I want to talk about it more, um, but my hair is curly or at the very least, wavy, um, which is great for volume. It's not great when it's kind of wet out because it gets very fuzzy and frizzy. My hair does the best at like 50% humidity, which I can blow dry it. And I don't blow dry it like heavy, you know? I blow dry it and then when it's not so humid, it just kind of lays flat and it's got nice shine and I don't have to do much with it. That's not the majority of the days. so. It's, my hair is kind of difficult to deal with. And so for years, for 30 years, depending on where my hormone cycle is, my hair falls out. Now it doesn't fall out to the point where like I'm bald, but it's, it gets thin for me. And as we get older, um, our hair does change. It was quite thick when I was young. Now it's a combination of thicker strands with finer strands. But my hair, thankfully, has always filled back in. But it fills in differently every time. And when I was a teenager, my hair would fluctuate from really curly to then just an S wave. So that all has to do with hormones. It has to do with um, what age we are and what time of life. So. I've come to realize that my concern isn't with the fallout, it's the regrowth, you know, getting it to regrow back in because all of our hair falls out. You know, we supposedly lose a hundred hairs a day. And actually I would say for me, I don't think I lose that much hair a day. I don't think I do. But when I go through a shedding phase, that's kind of where it all comes out. So. Maybe that's just my body. So I've always been fixated on how I can support my body to grow it back. So vitamins, um, protein. I'll, I'll do a longer tutorial about this some other time. I just wanted to pop on and show you when my hair looks like this and I feel like I really can't do anything with it, I add a little bit of heat on it which will flatten the frizz and then give me a little bit more kind of a wave versus it just kind of hanging here. So I wanted to show you. Um, heat is not great for your hair, clearly. I use a ceramic, it's um, I think T3 wand, um, and I don't use it for a long period of time. So it's just enough to kind of tame these frizzes and I don't do it every day. So I would say guys, always use heat sparingly um, and the Brazilian straightening doesn't work for me. My hair's like too fine for that. It makes it really flat. And, um, I know that people really love like the Dyson products now, and I think they're probably better for your hair. I haven't really used it. I, I used the Dyson blow dryer once and it did make it too flat for me. And again, because I've got a little bit finer hair, I'm not so sure that that's like the right uh, product. That's not the right wand for me. So, so let me show you what I do. Okay. So this is me not doing anything to my hair. I don't brush my hair. This is just getting up in the morning and this is what it looks like. I washed it yesterday. So what I do is I parcel it out in thicker strands or in thicker pieces because I don't really want, um, curl curls. This is the wand. 
It's just a wand. I hold it straight. I put the wand up against the hair and then wrap the hair around. And I'll hold for about five seconds. Let it go. And then I just pull it a little bit and you see that it's already laying flatter. Okay, and then I'll do it on a next section. So for the front pieces, I take out what I want to pull. This is the underneath piece. I take it to the back, okay? And again, you see that I've just really have uh, parceled my hair in three sections, so I'm not doing small waves. Again, I put it up against, I rotate it away from myself, hold it for about five seconds, let it go, and then just kind of pull it a little bit so it's not too curly. Now I'm gonna do the front. Again, it's a thicker section. Grab the wand, place it on my hair, rotate it backwards. Always hold the wand down as well, let it go. And if you see it smoking, it's not because it's my hair that's smoking, it's the product that I have in there. Okay, so I leave that, now I do the other side. Here is I grab a oops, I'm out of that a thickening spray and it's not to thicken the hair it's just to dry it out a little bit I like um, Orbe they've got a good one now I've heard that they've recently sold so I don't know if all their products are kind of like the same that they used to be but um, so far so good actually this is a new bottle so we'll see if it's the same what i do is i lift up each curl you have to open it lift up each curl just kind of spray the root and then i kind of shake it out and what it does is it's going to give me the volume that i like but not the frizziness and it's like the heat has taken away the frizziness so as the day goes on I will lose some of this curl here up top and then it will just lay a little bit more S. And it makes it easy. When I work out also, when I pull it back, I put it behind my ears, which gives me that crease. I pull it back, then you have a little bit of curl left. After I'm done working out, I can release it and then it will hold this curl. And because I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it probably twice a week. Um, if I can style it away that will carry me for three days, that's the way to do it for me. So sometimes if the weather's not right, I can't totally wear it straight because it starts getting real frizzy. So especially during these winter months and then hot, uh, humid summer days, I add this curl and my hair naturally works with the humidity. So that's it. Hopefully that helps you guys. I will say the biggest trick that a hairdresser taught me was with the wand to point it down and then you rotate your hair away from you. If you bring it towards you, it does weird things to your curl. So you want it to go away from you so that when your hair is down, you have the volume out this way. Biggest trick, it was like a huge, oh my gosh, because I always had a hard time with uh, curling irons. It never worked for me. And I always thought it was because I had curly hair, so it just didn't work, but I was doing it wrong all along. So, all right guys, that's it. I'm ready to go start my self-care Friday. I will um, maybe take you along if I remember. <laughs> and um, that's it. Hope you guys are all well. Have a great weekend and we'll talk soon. Hey guys. So I am picking out my clothes for today. Um, clearly it's an easy day because it's self-care Friday, but I don't like to just go out in the street looking like I don't care. Um, but it's funny because it's like, it's two sides of the coin. I get dressed for me because I give two shits what someone thinks I look like or whatever, but I don't feel put together and I don't feel ready for the day if I don't get myself ready. So choosing something that I feel good in as well as comfortable because I'm just kind of running around doing nice things for myself um, is important, right? So I think what I'm gonna wear, and as you can see, I'm like, I'm always in black, I'm in my pajamas. 
in my slipper. <laughs> so I wear black all the time. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear these really cute joggers. These are Neely Lotan, I believe. I actually don't know who these are, um, but they're just joggers. And then I think I'm gonna wear either a sweatshirt or a cashmere jumper or knit. So let me pull it out. I'll get it on and I'll show you what I'm walking out in. Hey guys, so here's the look for the day. So it's funny cause it really doesn't look that much different from my pajamas, but whatever. Um, so I did a cashmere sweater. This is from Etern, love this brand. And then my joggers, which I think are really cute, big pockets. And you can't really see my sneakers, but they are Yeezys, black and white. Don't at me because of the Yeezys. I'm not gonna stop wearing them. I bought them, but I won't buy another pair. So there you go. Um, so that's the day. I am ready to go self-care. Hair is done. I'm somewhat put together and I'm gonna go take care of myself. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Talk to you soon. just finished acupuncture and if you don't do acupuncture you guys you should really check it out it is so good I always feel so relaxed when I leave there um, and it's crazy because I started going for like hormones and hair loss and um, just overall wellness and so each time that I come and I, I come twice a month. Um, the three kind of points that she hits are hormones, immune system, and like um, mental clarity, you know, kind of those things. And then depending on what she senses when she takes my pulse, she will um, hit like some other points. So today she said gut. So we did immune system, we did hormones and mental and gut. And it's funny because this week, um, my diet hasn't been great. Um, sometimes I just am not hungry. And so then I'm not eating enough food. And then if you're not eating a lot of food, it's really important that you, the food that you do eat is um, good food and useful food, so proteins and things like that. So it hasn't been great this week. So I have felt that my gut has been just off. And how I feel that is I feel depleted, like empty. And sure enough, she picked up on it. So it's really amazing how she's either intuitive that way or she can really um, decipher that by my pulse. So it's really cool and I really enjoy it. So the needles are not, if you're afraid of needles, it's not anything like, um, like a shot. They're really thin and they're really flexible. And so if you have areas in your body that give you a little bit more zing, usually probably means that you need to work on that meridian, whatever that may be. So um, check it out because it's really good and I feel so good. So let's go get some booster shots, vitamins, vitamin booster shots. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe.